What is going on guys, it's Albert, I didn't really think, welcome back to another YouTube video And guys, today we've got this, the Toyota 2000 GT from the Hot Wheels Premium Toyota set Now in this car, there are 5 cars in this entire series Obviously we've got the Supra, the 2000 GT, the Land Cruiser, the Toyota Pickup Truck and the Toyota Starlet KP61 Now, I'm actually looking for the Starlet, uh, hopefully I can find it real soon I really a video on the Supra, I will put a link to that in the description below But today we've got this 2000 GT and we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this car it looks really amazing I think this is a very well done car with a lot of details and I wish you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna do a quick run through of the car as usual you guys know the routine we're gonna do a quick run through we're gonna do a few rolling shots after that and yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed this video I always do enjoy unboxing my cars now so I actually unbox the car and you guys will be happy to know there is a plastic protective piece but this is what we got that is the only piece of thing. I don't know what it's protecting, guys. What is this protecting? Now, I have no idea whatsoever. Anyways, here is the car, the Toyota 2000 GT. In all of its awesomeness, huge heritage, and it's a huge, you know, classic car. And I'm just very excited to have this in my collection. Oops, sorry about that. So, let's just begin right away. So, wheels. Wheels spin amazingly well, as you guys can see. It's... Uh, these rims are actually very nice. They're very different rims. I've not seen them before. This is probably the first car in my collection with such rims, which I think just adds so much character and value to this car. Um, we've got a rear reflector right light right there. The 23 with the CP, the good gear decal right here as well. And wing mirrors, guys. It's not here, you guessed it. It's right in front, which is a very classic Japanese thing to do. A lot of um, more, uh, classic JDMs have you know, um, mirrors that are out front to the hood uh, Maybe a car, like a Pagani, the Pagani has wing mirrors that are far out into the hood as well But this car I think looks really amazing uh, It's very unique detail, it's very unique design to the car And yeah, we're gonna uh, carry on with the vehicle um, So, okay, we're gonna carry on with the review So this is a white car However, if you turn to the front, you guys notice something it's blue so yeah you guessed it right the hood is actually blue in color it's the only blue colored portion besides the rear over here so this is actually blue why there is i have no idea but it looks nice i don't know why it just looks like a race car you know it's mean it's aggressive it's just, just overall it looks nice so let's dive into the front guys check this out these are plastic bits right here plastic headlight temples are these headlights i don't know i feel like the headlights are on top over there over this, like this two right here. I don't know what these are. Maybe a second set of lights. Obviously, got a 23 decal right there. The hood with its details, and that's about it for the front. Obviously, the wing mirror. Obviously, the wing mirror situation over here and over here. And if you look at the left side of the vehicle, we've got the Goodyear, the 23 CP, the doors, wheels spin amazingly well. Once again, I think I think recently Hot Wheels have done a really good job with their premium lineup. You know, they've put in a lot of details and a lot of attention to the wheels, and uh, just massive shout out to them. The wing mirrors as well. I just kind of feel like it would have been better if they had put a bit more details on the wing mirror and at least painted silver or something to mimic the glass on the wing mirror, which would have just added that much more details. Um, but I'm not complaining. I'll, you know, I think this is a really nicely well done car. And if you look at the rear of the vehicle, here's where it gets interesting. So obviously, you've got the, the center mounted exhaust right there, and center at the back. And then I think here is where the field door is of the vehicle. If you guys can see and we can also see the roll cage of the car through the rear window right there which is just all that amazing the attention to detail is really nice well done i mean i think this is a very well done car and if you look at the rear base of the vehicle so i think it's been a while since you've seen a metal metal base this is a metal base it says the 2000 gt right here and there's there's a decent amount of design on the base i must say and i must compliment hot wheels on this because look at this the details on here and the fact that it's you know, there's, there's texture to this, it's just not printed Which I, I think just adds that much value to this car And the front here as well, this created design here You can actually feel it over there So I think all in all, this car is really well done This has tire treads as well, which I think is a very little detail that a lot of cars There's that, some of my premiums that don't really have that Which is weird But this car has it and just looks amazing The treads itself just add a bit more value and character to the car Oh, you know, I think this is an amazing car. Uh, it's gonna go amazingly well in my collection. Obviously, I did a Supra a while ago. The Supra has, thank you for supporting the Supra. The Supra has gotten a lot of views recently. So, I'm gonna put a link to that. Check it out. 
But yeah, so this is 2000 GT. I'm a huge fan. I think all in all, this is worth collecting. I think this is also a piece that people overlook or over time. But yeah, if you guys find it, I think you should definitely keep this in your collection. You should, you should definitely add it in. But yeah, just a so we're gonna do a few ring shots and I'll see you at the end. And just like we've come to the end of the video, I hope you guys had an amazing time. I sure had an amazing time unboxing this vehicle. It is going to go superbly in my collection. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video. And let me know where I can get, I can make more improvements and whatnot. But just like that, guys, this video is over. I'll see you in the next one. And I'm out. Bye.